Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be um, like sort of like talking like about like my time like in like London like I just got back like today and um, so yeah like was up to like quite a bit like down there and um, like primarily and um, like meeting up like with like my very good friend and um, like James Lack like better known like as like Rockboy680 like we like had a fantastic time like meeting up like we went around like, a few record shops like went to see like Abbey Road and like that as well. So yeah like I've got a bit of like footage like from like our like meet up as well as like some other things like what like I've done I like, went to the Pink Floyd exhibition what's currently on at the VNA museum and like also some other things like what I bought like I will show like later on but yeah firstly like I'll just and um, like put some footage in like from like my like meet up with James so hello everyone here I'm at um, Greenwich at the Cutty Shark here, just um, like waiting for um, James to arrive. He's just like get the train. Like I'm like a little bit early, so yeah. Look forward to meeting him. And um, like we'll go to a few like we like record shops and that. Like I spotted one like on like the way in, which I think like we'll like end up going to. So yeah, um, should be a good day. Now I'm the American those. ones, they're so good. Aye. Honestly, brilliant. But that's that one came out after he died. Right. 20, 20. Yeah. Yeah. The best one is the, the fourth one, it has her on it. Right. It does cover up in my life. Alright, what's it uh, doesn't he do Petty I went back down? Yeah, he does have the third one I think. Because he, he produced it as well on Petty. Alright, oh, aye. Oh, that one's and, cool. and like on the heartbreakers on it and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. In fact, I don't really know how much room you hear because it's a really soft record. Aye. It's pretty awesome inside. I might get this one, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's, oh, that's not a bad record. There's some good stuff Aye. in there. And I've also seen this right here as well. Um, what is it? It's in the new, new way bit, aye. Where is it going? Oh, it's Costello. Nick Lowe. Oh, uh, you're looking at that one earlier. Yeah, I was. I was. I it up a bit. We'll see. Right, so we're here. Um, where's it? Greenwich. Greenwich. Aye. Greenwich. Uh, just be record shopper. We've got. I've got quite a bit. Have you done? Yeah, I've done all right. You've done better. Aye. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. I um, we'll just we'll just show you like what like we got. Um, do you want to go first? Or? Yeah, sure. I'll okay. Um, I'll do the stuff we got in the second hand record shop first. Aye. Mm -hmm. um, yeah there were two shots one was more more new stuff although they did like have like some like good like second hand stuff the yeah. other one was all second hand was yeah wasn't it aye no, i thought the second hand one was better to be fair because the prices were more oh, aye. yeah prices reasonable. were a lot more reasonable yeah but this first one i got it's only a tenner it's um five live yard birds so and i like the, the reason i got this because it is an original um the reason i got it is just because of cover really yeah because but you know, it's it's you know, Eric Clapton's on it, mm -hmm. so how uh, you guys know me, gotta have it. So yeah, you can see it's on the that really crappy reissue. Well, I don't do like that. No. no, I don't like it. It's awful. But yes, yeah, so that was only a tenner, which I that's thought, not bad. Eh? No, that's all right. Don't wait to hold that while you. Um, oh, it's alright. I'll just I'll put it underneath like that. And then this one you originally picked up. Yeah. And I was. I found of, it. I. I was kind of like, oh crap, you beat me to it. <laughs> but then you said you were going to put it back, so mm -hmm. I'm like, oh well, I'm having it. Um, it's the stones. Um, there's Satanic Majesty's Request. I had to read that because I forgot mm -hmm. the title of it. And it's actually got the lenticular cover. Not sure how well that's coming so, through. It's nah, a lot of glare on this. They'll, they'll just have to believe me. Yeah. <laughs> You'll probably show it again like a battle update anyway. Yeah, oh, I'll show it at some point again. Oh, the sun's gone in. Let me do it again. See that? Lenticular? Mm -hmm. That's alright. And I've got the original Winner Slave. Green label. I don't know how rare the green label one is. I just wanted one with a lenticular yeah. cover. Uh, so, and it's quite good condition. Yeah, it'd be worth checking Discogs to see like um, uh, if yeah. it's like first press or what or what sort of. I got a feeling it can't be the rarest one because it was only twenty three pounds. Uh -huh. But yeah, just to get it one, might it might be a sort of yeah, European one with like the yeah, cover on it, a different country it, one maybe. I, I, that did cross my mind to be fair, but twenty three quid for uh, a lenticular can't cover. Can't really argue with that. Eh? And then in the other shop. We got the receipt. We got odds and sods by the who. Um, 
is the only Who record I'm missing, and it's a, it's a it's a, an American pressing, which I just realised because I'm actually holding it for the uh, first time yeah. out of plastic sleeve, and I noticed that the card. It, really it looks thick. like it's thicker card on it. Yeah. yeah, I don't like the thick card really, but anyway, it's yeah, it's all right. It's the mm. only Who record I'm missing. Yeah, it's a good album as well. Look. Yeah, what that's, that's, I've heard good things. Yeah, and then this is the one I'm probably most excited about because I've really been into this artist lately. <laughs> Bag's gonna blow away. Hey Bush, this is Hounds of Love, and it's got quite a lot of good stuff on. It's got, um, do you know Running Up That Hill? Do you know that song? I might know that one, I'm not sure. Got, got that one on there, it's an amazing song. So yeah, Hounds of Love by Kate Bush. Yeah, that's okay. my, that's is that my, you? Right. that's me, just four. Okay. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah, I think that would be best, I, right. I couldn't show you my yeah. wee hole, what I got. Okay, so starting with the first shot, I got um, Blondie's first album which was one which I was um looking to get like after like your like bloody videos yeah. like, I just thought that I would try I mean, and get like as many records like off there as like which I can so I saw that one which is eight pounds. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave that I mean, one for now. I've got this one Elvis Costello which is one that I've been missing from him. Goodbye Crew World. Um not one of his best albums like he's even said uh, like um like he's even said like himself that it's like his worst album like what he's made <laughs> but it was two pounds so oh, you can't yeah. really argue with that um so yeah kind of got that one but just got that yeah, got no. this one uh, another Costello one which I was surprised to see Mighty Like a Rose this was 1991 so I've heard mixed things about this album it does feature some songs what he done like with Paul McCartney on it or and um, like on it like from out like, there like writing partnership so yeah I'll be interested to hear this one was that like 89 then or 90? this was 91 91 91 so it was some sort of like leftover songs is it um, better than the flowers in the dirt stuff well well the two songs like audio um which are Kikoro, like with McCartney so like candy and playboy to a man like are two of my yeah, favorites like from like the flowers like um, yeah from like the flowers like reissue so like I'd be interested to hear like Costello's like solo versions of those songs and the final one from the first shot was this which is um Led Zeppelin Houses of the Holy which is just thought that I would pick up I mean like missing like from I've only got I think one one Led Zeppelin album and um, which is Led Zeppelin 4 so this one was 16 that I was just thought I would pick it up and um, so that was the first shot like the second hand one um, the other one which we went in which is more newer stuff like i got like i think like these are all like used but they are all in lovely condition uh start off with guy um nick lowe um labor of lost his album i think from 79 if like he produced like a lot of like costello's um like records of that like elvis costello's albums um like i could have also picked up like his greatest hits recently so i thought that i would um get this it comes with like the original like in the sleeve and that which is quite nice like i won't get like out of the vinyl too much like messing about there but yeah got that one um also got um fleetwood mac album penguin which was um i think 15 pounds so yeah a little bit pricey but it is in lovely lovely condition i think it did um, really well with that. Right. Yeah. yeah so yeah like i couldn't pass that one up no. and then i also got um david bowie's record tonight here um which yeah one of his weaker albums 1984 but they're also good songs like love of the air the blue jean and that so yeah yeah pleased to get that one I as mean, well i mean let's as i say i was like it's not one of his best albums but it's still got some good stuff i don't really think bowie's got any bad albums right, so right. Yeah, like it'd be eager to hear this one, like eager to see like if like yeah. it like um like if like his reputation like is deserved. Yeah, oh I yeah. think I hundred percent think it is because I'm lucky enough to have all these albums and I you know, I don't think he's got a bad one among them. Right. But yeah. So yeah. So, we had a good time. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was good. You, mm -hmm. You've got some footage as well. You put yeah, in that before uh, this or after? Yeah, I put like the footage sort of like travelling in like before yeah. and, that, oh, right. and then we'll, we yeah. might, we may be going like to Abbey Road now. Might be. We'll see. I um, think, well, I think we probably will, won't we? Yeah. Might as well. Might as well make a day of yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. And there's going to be a video on my channel as well mm -hmm. where we're doing exactly the same thing. Yeah, pretty so. much after we film <laughs> this again. Uh. <laughs> going to go film it again now. Nice. <laughs> So yes, we're um, currently just outside um, Paul McCartney's house on Cavendish Avenue, which is just a little bit from like, Abbey Road here. 
Um, so yeah, um, we're not gonna like hang around here like too long. Just wanted to like have, just wanted to have a like wee nosy like at it, like sort of like different like famous like Beatles photo shoots like taking place again like the garden and that. So yeah, it's pretty cool to see. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that was that. Like I had like a um, like fantastic, fantastic time like with James. I could definitely like next time like I am like down in London, which will probably be like another like couple of couple like of like years like now um like i'll definitely like meet up like with james again because we both had like a fantastic time but anyway just like moving on now like to the pink floyd exhibition which i went to would have been um yesterday now i like it's currently running like at the victoria and albert museum i think it's running until um october sort of time so yeah like it was very very busy like i couldn't get like a lot of like footage like from it but like, i got like a little bit like which i will like insert like into like the video just now So yeah, like it was like a fantastic, fantastic like exhibition, like a quite like sort of like a multimedia sort of sort of thing like as well. Like you had like these sort of like earphones, like these earphones like what like you put on and like as like you walked like towards like different like television screens like the audio like would change like to like be like what was on like that TV screen. Like it was quite clever like the way like it like had been done like made it seem like quite sort of like natural like sort of like thing like as like um natural thing like as like you were going through it like you weren't sort of like pressing buttons like on like this like thing like to sort of get to like the right jab so like it just done it like automatically which i thought like was really great like yeah like very very busy very very busy but it just shows like how like popular like pink floyd like still are like and how like so many people like are like interested like in like their backstory like they had some fantastic things like on show there so you definitely like if like you are like in london like i'm like a pink floyd fan like i would i recommend that like whoever like try and go earlier like in like the day because we went sort of um, because we went sort of like about like one o'clock ish like one and um, that like one half one sort of time that like when like it was and um, like heaving so then after um like the pink floyd exhibition like also um like went around a few other sort of like music places like in like london like went to savile row which was where like the beatles um last rooftop concert was and um, like here's a wee photo so yeah that was good and like and like just like around the corner from there like is a place called Berwick Street which is like where like the front cover to where the front cover to the Oasis album What's the Story Morning Glory and um, that was shot there also like in like that area there was um at least five like record shops like on like Berwick Street like and like the surrounding area 
Unfortunately though, like I was a bit short for time, like and money as well. So like I was only able able to pick up like one like record, um, which was this one here, the kinks, and um, like give the people what they want, which I will show this like again, like in like a like, um, like official vinyl update video. And then also when I was down there, like I got like these like three sort of like photo print and um, like things here, like I got these in like Covent Garden Market. First one here is um Paul Weller, just like three photos, like which is sort of like hang up and that. Um same thing for the Beatles and then um David Bowie as well. So like these will probably like I might try and like put them in here. If not, like maybe like my student like accommodation, like when like, I can move out um like in September. So yeah, that was just like a quick video sort of like summarizing like my weekend trip to London. So yeah, I had a uh, um, like great time. Um like hope you have enjoyed this video. Like I will like leave like a link like to James's channel, like the description to this video, like just in case like you don't know like who that like, James is, like fantastic, fantastic, like VC member, like I'm friend, like as well, like we had like a brilliant, brilliant day out. So yes, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time for the next video. Goodbye.